Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to learn <coughs> learn about the electron configuration of bromine that is the electronic configuration of bromine. Okay, we'll do the electron electronic configuration of bromine in just five steps, right? So in step one, we need to know the atomic number of bromine. From periodic table, we know that the atomic number of bromine is 35. So uh, bromine, bromine uh, has 35 proton and 35 electron, right? In the second step, we need to uh, we need to know the sequence of orbitals like 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, right? So let me remind you, s orbital can take maximum two electron, p orbital can take maximum six six electron, d orbital can take maximum ten electron f orbital can take maximum 14 electron okay i have a blog post you, you 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 can read from the description box of this video however uh, s orbital start with 1s then it will continue 2s 3s 4s 5s uh, p orbital start with uh, 2p then it will continue like uh, 3p 4p like that okay and d orbital start with 3d and it will continue like 3d 4d or uh, 5d and uh, f orbital start with uh, 4f and it will continue like 4f 5f 6f like this right so however we we, we are going to learn the sequence of orbital like right? so follow what i am going to do spdf you have to write this at first then you have to consider this s as first right and you have to write s twice ss then you have to consider sp together so and you have to write it in reverse order that is you have to write ps then ps and then you have to consider this this d p s orbital together and you have to write twice d p s then d p s then you have to consider this four orbital together then you have to write f d p s then you have to write f d p s f d p s and there is no limit of writing f d p s so let me help your memory to memorize this and say with me s s ps ps then say with me dps dps then say with me fd ps fd ps and this will continue so say with me ss ps ps dps dps fd ps fd ps fd okay now we need to number this orbital right okay how to number this orbital like ss ps ps then dps dps f dps f dps okay uh, let me first number the s orbital first uh, 1s 2s 3s 4s 5s 6s then you have here 7s this is 8s right and then you have to number the p orbital p orbital start with 2p 3p 4p 5p 6p 7p right and then you need to number the d orbital 3d 4d 5d 6d right and then you need to number the f orbital f orbital start with 4f then 5f right and this will continue however uh, in case of bromine uh, that have 30 uh, in case of bromine we have 35 electron right 35 electrons so we need to distribute this electron among the orbitals so we we, we are taking uh, the sequence of orbital at first so we know that ss ps ps then dps dps then f d p s okay okay let me write here so that f d p s f d 
P S and it will continue right okay so we have just 35 uh, electron in case of bromine so s orbital can take maximum two electrons so two plus two four p orbital can six uh, maximum can six so ten electron then you can put here two electron twelve electron then six twelve plus six that gives you eighteen eighteen plus two twenty twenty plus ten that gives you thirty thirty plus five that is thirty five so Mm, you need on this orbital right you need on this orbital now your target is to number the s orbital s start with 1s then continue 2s 3s 4s you don't have any s here and then you need to number the p orbital p orbital start with uh, 2p then 3p 2p 3p then 4p right and you need to number the d orbital so d orbital start with 3d right okay this is the electronic configuration but <coughs> in your book according to your book you have to uh, write this according to number of n that is low to high right so follow how can i do this here we have 1s right 1s then 2s then 2p6 then 3s2 then 3p6 but after 3p we need 3d but we have here 4s so we'll change the uh, we'll change the number of 4s and 3d right so we'll write here 3d10 then we'll write uh, 4s2 right then 4p 4p 5 this is the electronic configuration of uh, bromine uh, you can write this or uh, this the 2 is acceptable but uh, in your textbook book you will get this uh, i have a blog post uh, i highly recommend you to read that blog post from the description box below and i think this blog post will help you uh, to understand these things uh, more clearly Thank you for being this video. Be well.